Hi, thanks for watching. Mike Allerton in the Blue Mountains, northwest of Sydney. Um, continuing on with the theme of building bee boxes in our cool weather. Uh, this is the style of bee box that I'm taking you through step by step. This video is about doing the finger joints. I've made a jig uh, based on a jig that I found online. The first step was to uh, rip and cross cut to the correct dimensions for the four pieces. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is the front and rear to put in the slot for hanging the frames on. And other people will do a rebate on their saw or a rabbit. I'm using the router table for everything I can here, so I'm going to do that on the router table. I'm using my trusty Jessam router table, and on the fence I've got these fellas that I've got in place as stops. Uh, all their job is, is to stop that slot where I want it at each end. I've got that adjusted and I'm just already preset the depth of the cutter and so all I'll be doing is feeding this in, sliding it along to the next stop and then because it's a fairly deep 15mm uh, deep cut I'll be taking that in three 5mm sweeps. That's the finished ledge ready for uh, hanging the frames. And that's how they go. That's all I need the fence for now, and that particular bit. So I'll remove the fence. Now I've based this jig on a design made by and published by a fellow called, a British guy called Steve Maskery and he did that about five years ago, 2013, November or so. Uh, look it up if you want to make one or if you want me to detail it I'll, I'll make another video based on that. What I like about this design is that it keeps the cutter um, out of fingers reach most of the time, if not all of the time. It has dust extraction here that I connect up to the router hose. And so it keeps the job clean. And the difference with this one compared to Steve's is that I do all four boards at once and it does a pretty snazzy job of that. So I'll show it to you in operation I've set it up specifically for bee boxes doing the 22 mil fingers. There's no adjustment on this one. So the first thing that we need to do is set the correct depth of the bit. And to do that we need our piece, our work piece. So I'll get the jig out of the way there and slide up our work piece and I'll raise bit up until it's just touching. Right. Now part of the setup to make sure we don't go too far in and do damage to the jig, I've put a stop on so that when I when the cutter is all the way through the workpiece and comes into the cavity already made in the jig, it'll stop. So I've got this stop here. And I've got the same thing at the reverse end. Now with the front pieces first, and that'll get things started, I have them working from the bottom end first and the top with the faces, the outside faces, uh, together. So we see on the outside here is what will be the inside of the box. I'll put it up against the 
finger guide and I use my clamp to hold it together. Okay, that's it, we're done with the jig now, so I can pack that away. And I'll drop the cutter out of the way. And here we have. Essentially done in two operations. And uh, I've adjusted these fairly tight. So we've got our outside, and before I assemble these, my next things would be to put the handles on, as in a previous video, and also to do the laser engraving. I'll do the laser work in a different video, just to see if anyone's interested. But they're all cut pretty cleanly. When you're doing all four at once, they're each other's backup, so... Um, 
you don't get the tear out anywhere near as much as you would if you did each piece individually, as most jigs do, most box joint jigs do. And even with dado cutting, um, they can be pretty harsh on the uh, on the tear out as well. So we'll just put together loose fit. So you can see that doesn't look too bad. A little looser on that one. it that's it They're all together nice finish um, snug easy to go I screw mine together with um, stainless screws Thanks for watching any questions fire them below I'll hit them up if there's enough interest make comment if you want me to show you how to make that jig I'll do a detailed one thanks cheers